Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Mad 18 tip video. Hope you guys are having a great day. My day's going pretty well. Just had a fire bagel, man. It's pretty, uh, it was a pretty nice one. You know, it's like, uh, everything bagel, bro. It was freaking legit. Hope you guys, uh, have had some good food and, uh, had, had a pretty nice day. You feel me? So, we're inside the Minnesota, not the Minnesota, the Minnesota Titans, the Tennessee Titans offensive playbook. And I'm going to show you guys one of my amazing schemes that I just love running. It is so successful and I hope you guys enjoy it too because I really adore and I love and I squirt my nipple juice all over this formation because it is so freaking good, guys. I'm telling you straight up right now, it is amazing. Hope you guys are having a great day because my day is going pretty dang well too. Like I said, <clears throat> we are inside the Tennessee Titans playbook. Uh, definitely the best playbook in the game this year. Um... I run it all the time in my, you know, online. Just anything I do, always this book because it is so good. You got the, you got the deuce close. You got the eye form slot. It's nice, and the, and the strong is nice. You know, the gun, of course, is very nice. So, just a really, really good all-around playbook, guys. Anyway, guys, right here today we are inside the strong wing. I already did a video on this formation, but I, I'm gonna go more in depth to this video because no one watched that one, the one the video I did on it. So, I want to show you guys the scheme more because I really, really do like it. So I'm gonna show you guys um, just uh, see I get 10 yards uh, average here. It's pretty nice, uh, you know. But like I said, boys, strong leads the formation. Um, first play right here, post shot right here. Uh, really do like it. I need you need a fast guy there. I didn't put a fast guy in right there. Um, John Tampa two here. You know, uh, oh, actually Corey Davis is probably the fastest guy on this team. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know who else is pretty fast, but Corey Davis is pretty fast as well. Right there, boom. Corey Davis going to catch the ball there. I would pass lead that a little bit over to the right right there. Um, this is one of my go-to plays, man. I, I'm telling you, this is a really, really good play. And I'll show you guys later like what you can combine this play with to make it just so much better. That's a cover, too. Of course, we're going to burn them over the middle, but, you know, if they ever, like, you know, run a... Uh, they run hard flats because you, you can, if you keep throwing, let's say uh, this uh, circle right here, they, they go and they go hard flats. You can just throw to that right, right there. But right there, you know, they weren't running hard flats, so he's gonna pick it off. But let's say they were running hard flats, then you'd want to throw to, uh, you know, Delaney Walker. And they're not running hard flats. You want to throw to Smith here. So basically, boys, the next thing you want to go over is this counter. I did a whole video on this counter. It is seriously such a freaking good run, boys. I run it 24/7. I recommend you guys get a really, really fast guard. I mean, not guard. <laughs> I, I mean, I do recommend you guys get a fast guard, but I want you guys to get a really fast fullback. Now, Dawson Fowler is really not that fast. 77 speed, um, not too good, but he's a nice blocker. Uh, let's see, Demarco Murray just chucking people out here. He's a beast. I, I, you, this is like a great like one play touchdown potential with just the run. It is just really glitchy. Uh, sometimes that DN will play it really nice, but sometimes he won't right there. Boom, to Marco Murray. That's getting 10 yards about right there. So, let's see. The run does work pretty well. Um, another play I like to do here is called the uh, counter. I, I not, not, not the counter. I meant the power O. Uh, I run the power O. I run the counter. And the, I don't like the to toss too much. That's the only two runs I run. And the dive is not really too good either. Um, do you guys know how to run a power O? you guys know how to run a toss and a uh, counter? I'll, sh I'll go over the power O myself. Um... But anyway, guys, uh, right here, the play action sprint halfback slide, the best pass play in this formation. Really glitchy, guys. You combine this with a play action slide, they will not know what you're going to do. The play action slide com uh, com uh, with, combined with this, or they're just too glitchy. Those, those two plays are literally so amazy, boys. So right here, play action sprint halfback flat. Really, though, in this formation, recommend you have really good tight ends the whole game. You know, I recommend you have really good tight ends because if you don't, you know, have speed, blocking, and catching because that's really I, I mean take speed and blocking first and then and then catching but right here see right here one of my first reads is going to be um, not really Corey Davis he's not one of my first reads he's a nice man beater like let's say your tight end doesn't beat man coverage as Corey Davis takes this one to the house uh, I would have a, just a really good receiver there he'll hit, it'll be your number one receiver um, so he got a little bit of speed so he can burn some man coverage uh, right here oh I forgot to tell you guys Put Delaney Walker on a streak. That's how I like to do it here. And you just want to play like this. Don't cancel play action. Right there, DeMarco Murray. He runs that little out route there. Like, uh, a flat route, I should say. And he kind of makes a cut during it. You guys see. You guys will see it uh, when, he, when he makes a cut there. See how he makes a little cut there? Like, right there. Boom. That's so glitchy because the user will kind of get screwed up. The users will always pretty much cover that running back route. So, you know, boys, you just got to cover that, basically. Or they'll call hard flats and they will um, cover over top. They'll cover the uh, corner route by the tight end. Uh, also on the cover too, you could also hit Delaney Walker right up the middle right there because the uh, safety will sometimes follow the uh, 
uh, corner route, and you're just gonna be wide open. So it's really just a nice guy. I'm telling you, this is the greatest formation known to man right here. As you can tell right there, uh, Mariota just missing a pass there. I probably should have set my feet right there, but uh, you, you, you guys, uh, you guys know how to do that. Um, right here, just boom. You hit what's his face over here. Right there, we should have thrown it a little bit earlier because they sent a pretty uh, fire blitz there. Um, but what's nice about this, you can hit that corner route 24-7, 365. Because Delaney Walker, I would put your fastest safety, uh, your fastest um, tight end here because he's going to kind of pull the safety over top. And plus, he can probably burn both safeties if they are running the right coverage, like a cover two, right? So right here, basically, he takes the safety over top. See right there, you see, he can, he can burn. You, you know what I'm saying, boys. Right there, boom. Delaney Walker, let's say he's fast enough. He's not here, but oh my, oh, yo, that was a catch. Come on, yeah. How did he even drop that? But... Yeah, basically, you guys you guys get what I'm saying here. It's just a really, really nice play right there. See, Delaney kind of takes that safety over top. That's when you hit this play right here, and that's when you uh, get a nice gain of, I don't know, 30 yards right there. So I'll take that any day. Uh, next up, boys, is the power O right here. What I like to do, uh, I like to slide the line right. You pass protect. I think it works a little bit better right here. This run is seriously, <laughs> seriously so freaking good, boys. Like, I think they made this run better in the game. I don't know why. I don't know if they did in the past. I don't know, man. I don't think they did, though. But I feel like after the past, this run got so much better uh, right here. Um, of course, if they're running, like, quarters, which I don't know how. Quarters is doing better than a freaking all-out blitz out of, like, what? Like, nickel? What was it? They were running it out of before? Wow, we're probably going to get a touchdown out here. Like, look at this. Goal line? Okay, well, he didn't get his block there. But I would have got a touchdown there. It's just a really, really glitchy run, boys. Uh, you can flip it. I don't really recommend flipping it because your fullback's on the left side over here. Uh, but it does work out. The running goal line just freaking pass it sometimes a goal line just trash unless it's on the goal line you feel me uh but you guys see the runs really nice this is why you kind of need fast guards because you know pe people y'all dislike me in the comments for having fast guards but i'm telling y'all get those fast guards i've been playing madden for two years now which is not too long but i i feel like i know that you need to have fast guards you feel me so make sure you guys get those fast guards because that is a key part of you playing well and having some nice blocks on your power roll runs or your counters or just basically any runs, you know. The only position you don't need to be fast is center. And there's like some nice centers who are fast in the league, like Cody Whitehair, um, Jason Kelsey. They're all really fast, you know. So it's kind of depressing that you know they're they're at center, but it's okay. Um, just sub minute guard. Uh, but right here, toss. I mean, it's running a little bit. I mean, not really. It's kind of garbage. You feel me? The blocks don't really set up too well. Just it's not a good toss. You feel me? Josh Klein is not a bad. Uh, a bad speed guy. He's just it just kind of gross. For, see, the blocks just don't set up nicely. You could get something good out of it, but unless you have like Lane Johnson, three Lane Johnsons in your team blocking, you're not gonna get much yards. See right there, even like who is that? Like that's Zettel. Who the flip is Zettel, man? I thought that was Paul Worlow, but I guess not. Right there, you, you see the blocks hold up. Yeah, it's just not a good boys. It's just not a really good run that you want to run 24/7. I definitely don't want to run it. I, I would just lab it, see if you like it. Tell me, hit me up in the comments if you guys uh, lab it and it plays good. Uh, but right here, curls, the run man coverage, don't run it. You're going to get exposed. But it's good against zone, but I would I don't run it too much because it's kind of trash. You know, it's just not a good play. Right here, the play action slide, you can find that with a sprint halfback flat. It's just a really nice play right here. Sometimes, really, depend I like to hit this, this uh, flat route first, you know. It's a nice play on, like, um... What is it like a uh, third third and short, you know anything short like first and short anything short like that fourth and one You know something like that. It's really nice. You know sometimes the user the call hard flats out here Let's say you ran this before the call hard flats Let's say he's not covered there all you would want to do is you want to you want to put Corey Davis on a slant because as you can tell Everything's going to one side of the field So what you want to do I like to put Corey Davis on a slant sometimes You know because that user can't cover two routes three routes going left side of the field and they can't and they can cover two but they, i don't think they can cover they can cover three sometimes but they can't cover like they run the flats the flat route's going to cover uh fowler here and he's going to cover walker and smith so you're pretty much screwed unless you put uh cory davis on his little route right there but if the comeback's okay it doesn't it doesn't really you know the user's kind of going to be there you know but right there flat route is open a lot of times because not a lot of guys you know in base coverages don't really call hard flats too much at least i don't it's not really something i like to do right there boom Comeback route, as you guys can see right there, works out pretty nicely. Just a really, really solid play that gets you a lot of yards. You could bind this, like I said, it's pretty much the same play action. And you just roll to the right here. You have a scrambling quarterback right there. Boom. I would not throw that. That was a, wow. That would kind of suck, man. That, that, was, that was just really a bad throw right there. But run it one more time here. I want to kind of scramble Mariota here. Uh, see right there, just pass lead upward, you know, get, get a nice block, 10 yards, 12, I don't know how much that was, but it's just a really, really nice run, boys, um, let's put Corey Davis on the plane here, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, dude, let's see they're doing that. Let's say Corey Davis is wide open, which he is wide open. Not really doing too good. I think that's Darius Slay out there. Mm, I'm not too sure though who's 24, but you guys basically get the gist of this play. Really, really nice one. Um, highly recommend you guys run it right there. The comeback. I don't even know what happened there to be honest. With that was just retarded, man. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically that play, boys. Uh, I think that's basically it for those formations. There's not really too much you can run uh, more out of this. Like curls, like I said, not too good. Post shot. I don't really know. I, I don't really like it against cover four too much. Um, play action spot. You know, put the. It's basically the same as the sprint halfback flat. Just put the uh, the red route, the curl route there on a, a streak, and you're gonna have the same uh, kind of concept there. Um, that'd be nice. You could run that. I just thought of this. You could run that with like the sprint halfback flat, because you know the uh, halfback flat one. You have the outside tight end taking uh, doing a corner out, and then on this play, you have the inside tight end doing the corner out. So that could be really glitchy, guys. That could be really nice. So. You guys should go look that up, because that would be really cool. I just thought of that right now, so. Um, but that that does sound pretty nice to, like, you trick a user. It's a slant play. It's just nothing too special. Dive, it's it's not it's not too great, you know. Just mix it in there, you know. It's just, it's not it's not amazing. It looks amazing, but it's not. It's I, I should have, like, trucked him. Didn't, so I tried to spin it the last second, but just a basic run. Nothing too special, guys. Nothing really crazy, crazy special that you're going to love. Um, you know, right here, the uh, the mountain power, no, not the mountain, the motion power um, it, it's like a play, a play action motion power. You guys see it right there. Uh, it's like an out and up. Let's say they're running a, just a full on blitz. I don't, I don't know, nickel. Um, what's a nice, just a full on blitz over storm brave. Say they're running this. Yeah. You, you, if you see them like running a lot of blitzes a lot, like mid blitz, you want to block everyone here. Corey Davis, smaller hunter, have your fastest receiver on the outside. I don't care. He's freaking, um, other stats. Just have your fastest receiver there. All I want to do here. You want to lob it up to Corey Davis, but right there we got sacked. But you, they're gonna keep running that play, and you're gonna hit them over top one time. And you're gonna expose them, and they're gonna be like, "What just happened?" I'll be like, "Well, I just exposed you." So yeah, boys, just remember that you can run that play. It's gonna work a lot of the time, right there. Boom. He does burn him. Um, kind of. That's why you need a fast guy right there because uh, I don't know who that is. That is that Darius Slay. I really don't know, man. I don't even know. I, I always pick a random team as my defense. I don't know if that's Darius Slay to be honest, but you guys basically the concept there. But really though. In this formation, if you're in the Titans book, I don't know if uh, that formation's in, a, in, a, in like two other books. I'm not sure what they are. Number one, let's run that. Um, the other route, uh, some guy commented this. Thank you so much uh, if you're watching this video, fam. But um, you guys told me that uh, this is an out and up, which is sick. And then you guys told me the other route that I just went over inside the strong wing. This is not. This is the strong pro right here. Instead of two tight ends, it's two receivers, you know. So that's basically it for this formation. But right here. Corey Davis on a smart route, and then you want to keep, uh, you want to smart route Jordan Matthews as well, and not Jordan Matthews, um, Richard Matthews, and then that route is really glitchy. It's better than the the in and up because it just gets like to the edge better. Like it just, it's just a better one. So go in strong pro. They're not really gonna notice if you switch from strong wing to strong po, like it's pro, not po. Uh, it's pretty tough to to cover. Uh, right here, you have Delaney Walker on that nice little route there, so they're not really gonna expect it. But right here, Richard Matthews. Uh, run his little route there, and he, you can tell he gets wide open too. He's not really too fast. Uh, pretty sure that's Slay on the right side over there. So, yeah, boys, you get this formation. It's really, really glitchy. That's just a nice man beater, um, just out of a different formation. But you can run it the same. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys smack like on the button. Um, sorry if this is a little too long for y'all, but you guys basically get the scheme. Really, really good. I just highly recommend you guys hop in here. Maybe lab it for like 20 minutes at the most, because I already went over a lot of things. So you, like, I would just lab the post shot. Uh, the power row, uh, the play action power row is not too good. I just don't do it. Uh, inside zone splits are bad. Um, the mountain, the motion power row. I mean, you guys can run a little bit of motion here, but I don't really like it too much. So yeah, boys, that's basically it. If you guys enjoyed, smack the like on the button, subscribe to the channel if y'all are new, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.